Welcome everybody to the Poke Battle Network. The Play Pokemon organization has finally opened up the doors for our local card shops to finally host Pokemon Go tournaments. That's right. We are going to be able to get points now in our local community tournaments. So be sure to check out the Play Pokemon website to locate one near you. Thank you to Gallery Games for hosting this weekend's tournament as we are going to watch Munchlax 2000 battle through the Phoenix, Arizona domain. Battlers like Creaser and JJ showed up to this tournament. So we are going to see if Munchlax throws down with them. And of course, the first matchup will be against Creaser. So let's go down to the stadium and see how it's going. All right. Munchlax's first round is against Creaser. Munchlax is rocking Medicham, Charizard, Registeel, Lickitung, Alolan Ninetales, and that Dragonair. Creaser, on the other hand, is rocking that uh, Umbreon, Shadow Charizard, Medicham, Lantern, Trev, and G Fisk. Now he is locked in here on this. First team, we're going to get into these battles. This is two top-tier Arizona battlers going at it for the first play Pokemon in-person tournament here at your local uh, card shop. This is awesome. We're so excited that Gamer Gal or Gallery Games could let this through. As Metacham call into the Umbreon lead, great call. Great call. Umbreon leads are probably top-notch here. So making that call here bright and early, it's great. And look at that. This uh, Munchlax is rocking that power-up punch. Gotta love that power-up punch a little bit over that ice punch here. Because of so many tanks and dark typings, you can put that extra damage down. And you know what? That boosts that psychic too. So it still does a little extra damage there as well. The foul play goes off and goes through and no swap. And look at that. It's the lantern immediate swaps. The minute he saw the spark, he swapped right into his Dragonair. Dragonair with that dragon typing neutral to this serve. This Thunderbolt shouldn't hurt it that much. Boom, half the health gone, but it's so thick and tanky. Look at that. Almost to two body slams or two aqua tails. Obviously, you're going to go for body slam because that water electric lantern isn't going to be hurt by that aqua tail. Look at the damage is now the second charge move is popping off on this lantern. Crees are doing good at building his energy and throwing on time. Surf goes through. Not enough as the Dragonair with no health stays alive. Doesn't throw. Very interesting. That throw would have actually, could have actually taken him out and kept Lantern alive. So great job there by not throwing and allowing a fast move to go through. The Ninetales Charm comes in and oh my gosh. Ninetales Charm revealed. Charm is back. It's powerful now that it's got that Shadow Boost. Last resort. It's going to bring that Ninetales down a little bit. Immediate swaps to the... Oh my goodness. The last thing this line wants to see on uh, for Creaser is this Power Up Punch Metacham in the green. The heavy green with two shields. There is nothing this Metacham isn't afraid of. Munchlax looks really strong here in game one and is going to probably power up his punch down to his first win. That second power up punch now turns his counters into half the damage of regular power up punches so good he's got another power punch creaser not throwing any energy there are two shields left no health on the umbreon great call here and he knows it he knows his double boosted psychic this is a bm for sure but both battlers aware and look at that snapshot indeed now you wouldn't want to do this in an official tournament but these battlers know each other very well they are having some fun here on a wonderful sunday afternoon so good job there congratulations to psychic king a pure dark that is by far huge as Dragonair lead right into that Metacham. Now, Metacham on Creaser was not played at all, so we don't know the move set yet. It could be rocking the Ice Punch, could be rocking the Psychic. It, ooh, try to make the catch, but not in time. Not in time, and Creaser built the energy. He knew he was waiting for it. The Psychic, great job by Creaser. 
up almost up to another psychic himself and about to maybe make a catch. Look at him, both of them holding on to the energy, waiting for that catch as Creaser now has a second psychic locked and loaded. Here comes the first psychic, and oh, the Metacham of Creaser is down in the red, and look at that, finally able to make the swap. 30 seconds left on the swap clock, and the Metacham gets to a second psychic. This is pretty interesting, as it does over half the damage of that Trevenant. I am shocked that Psychic did that much. That is very interesting. And Ninetales is back again. This charming pony is not done terrorizing the field. Charm 1, Charm 2, good sir. Two Charms in, soaked up the Seed Bomb, and now the Ninetales is ready for action. It's the Medicham that won't come through, and look at that itch, Dragon Charizard. Or Dragon Decoy Charizard, shall we say. Dragon looking Charizard. With Dragon Claw. So this Dragon typing has to be afraid. But there are two shields on both opponents. And they both have charge moves that are super effective to each other. So double shielding this could be the play to Dragon Breath down this Charizard. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it because it's all about the charm, folks. That's right. In such a strong commanding win condition, Munchlax sacrifices the dragon there with the dragon claw, charms down the Charizard with one shield for each, and with one charm, says goodbye to the Metacham. That is a 2 0 for Munchlax as he's going to move on to round two. Round two is up, and Munchlax shows a dominant Alolan Ninetales Charm Shadow boosted. The excellent skill set that he had. That was wonderful play, just keeping it in the back, even against the Charizard. Landing the Psychic as well onto that Trevenant was huge. So Munchlax now 1-0 and, oh and has to battle his roommate, his best friend, his confidant. These guys have battled against each other numerous amounts of times. It is DV Sheriff, the chance and loving DV Sheriff. These two big boys go to KBBQs all the time and talk about Pokemon battling. So the battle we're about to see is rivalries that know each other so well. So some of these plays could be outsmarting each other or just really ridiculous. But DV Sheriff is rocking a bomb of snow, frost slash knocked out lantern medicham and purified sableye so we're gonna get into these battles now um it's really interesting when you have two battlers who know each other so well from their local community coming out here and these in-person tournaments are what it's all about Look at that. Shadow Charizard into that Noctowl lead. This is a great call by Munch. Wing attacks have been so good that now Charizard can play. We've seen so many new Charizard users. The Registeel comes out to play and it's the Metacham. Now, they know each other. They battle against each other. Does DV know that he should be rocking Power Up Punch Medi? Is that the gameplay here? Let's see if this Zap Cannon will debuff this attack. Zap Cannon does about half the damage of Metacham. Metacham takes it like a champ and just keeps punching away. Now, there are charge moves ready as so much energy is on the Metacham and being released. It is the first Psychic. Oh, but no debuff for that Psychic. Is That was Attack Fall debuffed. And now we're going to get another Zap Cannon going through, probably getting the first shield from DV Sheriff. And there it is, another attack debuff, and it's now two extra counters that takes out Metacham. Charizard gets a wing attack on that fighting typing, and that's going to be super effective. This is a debuff fighting move now. The Psychic, still not enough, but oh my goodness, that's, woo, that's real close, my man. All the energy is now on this Charizard. I don't think you're going to get the two moves. If it's a lantern there, you're going to be GG's. But we'll find out as the first Blast Burn goes off. Lit is the lantern, and lantern said thank you. Now the Charm Nine Tails is there with two shields. The lantern has half health. This is the play, right? All you need are shields with this Nine Tails. You don't need to throw charge moves. You can build up for them, but you just are here for charm. 
We are letting everybody know what a charming situation this Ninetales has put Munchlax in. As the flying type Pokemon is now going to take a weather ball right to the shield. That stab, though, does do that one extra damage. So there you go. Now the Noctowl ready to throw its first charge move. It's the Shadow Ball! Oh, no! You have a shield, buddy, though, when you don't make the right calls. This is what we're talking about. The mind games these battlers know each other to be at. There is two health left. You, like, the Noctowl needs to be out. This is tough. Munchlax might have to say goodbye. Yes, as the stab one damage returns right back to Munchlax. That was close. That was real tough. Real tough there as Munchlax and DV go back and forth into this tournament. Oh, my goodness. That is... Ah, these... That's what you want when your locals and in-person start coming back. That you're going to be able to see this kind of head games. These kind of thought processes. Taking your time to really get in your opponent's mind. And remind your rival who really is the one in charge. DV Sheriff took game one. Can munch like skate game two. Immediate swaps. Thinking that he was going to immediate swap. And does it. DV Sheriff out thinks much slacks beautifully done much like now giving up a shield as the dragon breath is chunking away at this knock towel the wing attacks loose let loose that sky attack as a shield comes through and now it's the lantern but there is so much energy now on the shadow dragon air we've seen it done so good in other regionals it has popped off here in eu and in brazil and now munchlax is gonna try to make it work here in phoenix the one body slam bringing that lantern down to half health as the second body slam comes through doing about you know 30 percent of that damn the health of that lantern the dragon breath will bring that energy back into the dragonair's favor so we can throw another charge move soon thunderbolt will take it to the red won't be enough as uh spark won't take it out and unless this noctowl comes back and can farm down before the aqua tail which i don't think it can switch advantage is in Munchlax's favor, and this could be the win. The body slam is there, and now will he get the shield? Great call here by Munch with that Registeel in the back to bring it out here. Really draw out if it is that Metacham. If it is that Metacham in the back, gonna have to see the charm. The Registeel Alolan Ninetales combo putting this. Uh, Noctowl Metacham into kind of a world of hurt here as a Zap Cannon is going to come through and force another shield, if not take out this Noctowl. We still don't know what's in the back here, but I'll tell you what, whatever's in the back does not want to see Charm. It is the Metacham, right? And look at that. This line is really strong. Dragonair, Registeel, Shadow, Alolan, Ninetales. Shadow Dragonair, remember. And even with, this is beautiful, even with the bad instant swap that he that his opponent didn't do, Charmtail still leads the way and evens out the matchup. 1-1 one, one to Munchlax as he takes it back from his opponent. So smart for DV Sheriff to not swap on that Noctowl, but so tough when that um, Noctowl has to come back. That switch was the most important thing in that matchup. And Munchlax exposed that with just one shield. Locked, loaded, ready to go. Munchlax 2000, DV Sheriff fighting it out in the Arizona's first play Pokemon series. This is huge. This is fun. Over here at Gallery Games. So, we are going to be having more of these as they continue down the month of April. I hear next, this weekend we're going to have three. So, be on the lookout for that as Munchlax and DV are locked into their third battle. This is it. It's the same leads. Will the Insta Swap happen again? Let's find out. One, 
Two, no, no insta swap again. DB Sheriff still no insta swap, and this time brought out his frost last. Not good for the Dragonair, but don't worry. Dragonair has access to that Aqua Tail, which still hurts this Frost Ice if it doesn't shield. Has to get the shield. Look at the damage. Dragonair putting down the the amount of damage as an Ice it does on this Dragon and can fast attack this down. Oh my goodness. This could be GG's. Not GG's, but this could be a good night for this Frost Ice. Is it going to go back to the Pokeball? No. Going to have to throw the energy. Doesn't want to lose any sort of switch advantage again as another Aqua Tail comes through. This safe swap Dragonair is coming in huge. As look now, it is the Medicham looking at the Nine Tails. And now it's going to be Noctowl, hopefully thinking that's not going to be Registeel, but Munchlax is ready. That Frost last decision, a oh, great decision instead of Lantern there, but doesn't work out as this uh, Dragonair is so thick, and there it is. Welcome to the back to the field, Noctowl. In comes Registeel. Noctowl's wing attacks build up so much energy. Now with that access to Shadow Ball, it is not as dangerous as it used to be, especially with the shield now. But you have to remember, there is energy on that Ninetales in the back. It is charm. There's a Weather Ball locked and loaded. Ninetales can't shield or give up anything. And there it goes. TV Sheriff knows this. There is no power-up punch on this Metacham, so it can't just farm extra energy and have a boosted Psychic. It has to, has to just punch down as the focus blast is coming through now shield or no shield that charm is going to hurt as metachamp is trying its darkness to take it out and it's going to will the psychic hurt the weather ball cmp goes to the weather ball g g's to dv sheriff that was so close so tough by two roommates this must have been an epic battle to shake hands with at the end that second round was so good a great display of rivals battling it out as Munchlax is now looking at Wiggly Quigly for a 3-0. His opponent here is rocking that Purified Sableye, Lantern, Metacham, Shadow Gliscor, Shadow Beedrill, and Bastiodon. So a very, very unique mix of Pokemon flying all around this tournament. It has been really interesting to watch him work that Alolan Ninetales so well well as you can just see the dynamic play he has and then that uh shadow drapion to not drapion shadow dragonair too and getting that attack down and adding that extra safe swapper now gets the lead here and swaps immediately into the dragonair the b is a great possession of that drill run but oh my goodness you have so much damage coming down off that dragon breath this body slam it needs to get shielded or else it's going to be in a lot of trouble yeah wiggly puts up the shield great call of those poisons putting on that hurt but he he can go shield for shield now as Dragonair just does a little slime move. Feeling good about itself. Drill run comes through. Not a bait call. Great job there by sniffing that out. And Dragonair has energy and is ready for the next Pokemon. Should be the Sableye. Would probably be the safest call here so that you can draw out and find out what's in the back. And it is the Sableye. But here's the thing. Dragonair has the Dragon Breath and right on the perfect amounts of counts gets to the Aqua Tail. Throwing the Aqua Tail will put a immense amount of damage onto the Sableye as it is now deep into the yellow and that Dragon Breath still chunk away. That Shadow Boost really does help those weaker moves from normal typing as its immediate swaps out from the A9 right onto that Reggie. Reggie with that Focus Blast access, I mean, it can take a Flamethrower, it can take a couple of Flamethrowers. Munch is in the driver's seat here. This Registeel, a closer with that pairing of the Ninetales as your double anti-flyer move. So good here. Brilliant between most of the play Pokemon circuits. We've seen just a lot of that ice typing and the steel typing working together and putting hurt down for those anti-flyers. And what really is good for it is a fighter. But Medicham is off the table and back comes this Sableye. 
Say like gonna see a zap cannon. Zip zap. And that is GG's. Because the opponent did not want to see charm. Seems like Munchlax has charmed the way into most of our hearts. He is just one wet game away and he needs to lock on and dragon breath down this championship run he seems to be on as Dragonair takes the lead into Metacham. Now these counters will be neutral damage and putting the hurt down on but the Dragon Breath still adds up. These one turn fast moves are so important right now as the game's mechanics allow it to just dominate especially with that shadow boost. So now that shield has to be forced. I'm loving this moveset on the Dragonair with the Aqua Tilt or the Body Slam mashup on this Medi. Will it be the Ice Punch or a Power Punch? It's the Ice Punch. We've seen Meta Champs rock everything today. Everything. Dynamic punches, ice punches, power up punches, psychics. This is insane. Here comes another move. There's a dynamic punch. The Nine Tails is in the deep yellow. Whoop, oh, the red now. The charm did what the charm does and drew out that Bastidon and in comes the Gliscor. Gliscor does not want to see that charm either, but there are two shields for this Registeel as Gliscor has to work up for that Earthquake. Now these wing attacks are going to give that Earthquake opportunity a chance to get there two times. With this recent boost, it has helped out this Gliscor and other wing attack Pokemon be able to be valuable in these tournaments. So things like Earthquake can now force this Registeel to give up its shield finally. There it is, and there's the Earthquake. Great call. No bait by the opponent, Wiggly, as there he is up to another Focus Blast. Gonna throw that uh, Zap Cannon. Perfect counting on Munchlax's time and now can count for the Earthquake if he's going to get the shield. Gets the shield and can tell now he's going to get that Earthquake. There's some extra taps there as the opponent is building up a lock on, building up the energy almost to another Focus Blast. Shield the Earthquake. Great call. Great call. Munchlax gets the great call as he builds up to another charge move. Oh no, there are no shields left on Munchlax. He should have thrown the energy. Doesn't. It's a Night Slash. Nothing to do with the Night Slash as there's, st there's still so much energy. Makes the swap to Bastidon. Tried to make a catch on to Zap Cannon. Boy, that Bastidon's really not going to like seeing this. It is down to the yellow and that is huge as Munchlax is almost to another one. It could survive a flamethrower. This Registeel is tanky. The defense is high. So a Focus Blast is coming in hot on this, uh, on this Bastidon. The Gliscor gets the charm in, but no, has a fast move or has a charge move ready to go. All that extra energy it got, and the Night Slash goes away. So much energy gone, but Lock On allows this Gliscor to build up more. Oh my goodness, Gliscor is in the deep, deep red. Will this be the Night Slash that KOs this Registeel? No! Without the boost, the Night Slash cannot help as the Lock Ons take down, and Munchlax gets the W. GG's Wiggly. An amazing run by Munchlax 2000, rocking that Alolan Ninetales, Dragonair, Registeel, Core Line. Beautifully done. Making Dragonair a safe swap when needed. Keeping that Charm Tails with all of the shields. Huge, sir. GGC as you won 9 points in this tournament and got a 3-0 here. Good luck out there to all of you play Pokemon battlers as your local card ships are now able to host these play Pokemon tournaments. Be sure to check out the website to locate your nearest tournament so that you can start getting your points and heading to Yokohama. If you have a play Pokemon run that you would like to be shoutcasted here at Poke Battle Network, be sure to find me at SosaFlow1 on Twitter and DM me and I'll be happy to get that going for you. Be also sure to like and subscribe to the channel as I'm going to be doing more and more of these live in-person play Pokemon tournaments for us. There are so many tournaments happening. Be sure to check out the Play Pokemon website to locate the nearest one to you. 
Thank you all for watching the Pokey Battle Network. I am Sosa Flow, and like always, enjoy your battles.